Do you guys believe this guy will become popular even with as many reworks as possible? To counter Yorick, pick someone like Jogath who'll build a ton of health and can still damage him even if he gets caught inside his little cage. Nocturne can shroud away his only way of making his minions target him, which in turn will make him useless, and Nunu can boost his own attack speed to get out of the cage quickly, and Yorick has no way of preventing his ultimate from hitting full blast. Xin Zhao for his point click dash, Eralia for her point click dash, and Aatrox for his jump make other good counters as well. Yorick's passive allows both him and his ultimate ghoul to each have up to four mist walkers under their command. It will also create a grave for every champion who dies near him, as well as every 12th, 8th, and 4th minion depending on his level. Last hitting with his Q will also make him leave a grave behind. His Q will empower his next auto by granting it extra range, extra damage, and will also heal him and double the healing if he's under 50% HP. It resets his auto attack timer and will change to awakening if there's at least three graves near him. His W creates a wall after one second around an enemy which allows him to almost always hit his E. His E is a skill shot that will deal percent HP magic damage to a target and also grant Yorick and his little mist walkers extra movement speed towards the cursed target. The mist walkers will focus down the target hit. Finally, his ultimate will summon a maiden of the mists that will remain on the lane it was cast on until its death regardless of where Yorick is. To get a good trade in, he really relies on hitting you with his E, hence the wall. Dodge both and I can almost guarantee you that you'll come off in a better way. As for spells, there is really only one viable option for Yorick, which is teleport. It's very useful to take teleport versus teleport as its versatility trumps almost any other spell spell that might cross your mind. As for power spikes, his level 2 is interesting, but level 3 is where his main damage comes from, especially if he's already got a small army of mistwalkers. Do not get hit by his E if this is the case. Level 6 allows him to split push easily, and he will shine most brightly in the early mid game. Derek's works really well with his kit, so beware of his sudden growth when you're fighting him, and Triforce is as brutal as always. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, hit the wall to get out of it, his damage comes from hitting his E, and take his ultimate down quickly if you're in a position to do so. Ultimately, have fun doing it.